Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you by enabling secure boot for Windows 11. Enabling secure boot for Windows 11 is best accomplished through the UEFI or BIOS interface. This feature is usually presented as one of the various settings available in this utility. By locating and activating the secure boot option, you can easily enhance system security. Please keep in mind, if the secure boot option is not visible in UEFI or BIOS menu, it might be because your system lacks the compatibility due to its age. However, you can still access this feature by updating your UEFI or BIOS firmware. Updating UEFI or BIOS firmware related tutorial is here and also the tutorial link is given in the description below. You can verify that secure boot is enabled by opening a PowerShell as an administrator and running the following command confirm hyphen secure boot uefi and press enter if the secure boot is enabled it should display true or if secure boot is supported or currently disabled then you can enable it by running the following command set hyphen secure boot uefi space hyphen enabled space one and press enter if this command is not working it's possible that your system does not support or allow changing secure boot settings via PowerShell or there may be some other issues preventing the command from executing successfully. Here's our troubleshooting steps you can try. To activate secure boot via UEFI or BIOS interface, begin by accessing the UEFI or BIOS settings. This can be achieved by restarting your computer and pressing the appropriate key to enter the utility while the specific key varies depending on your system. Commonly used keys include Dell, F2 and F10. If your UEFI or BIOS has a limited or advanced mode, switch to the advanced mode. Now carefully look for a tab on the screen that says boot or security. The secure boot option is likely within one of those menus. The laptop motherboard being used for this purpose of this guide is a Compass RTX motherboard. It has both security and boot section. With the secure boot option being located in the boot menu, the location of the secure boot in your UEFI or BIOS may vary. Inspect the list of the options displayed on the current tab you are navigating until you located the secure boot feature. If it's directly toggleable, simply select it and off to enable it. Alternatively, if Secure Boot has its own sub menu, navigate to that first before selecting to enable it. If your UEFI or BIOS has a shortcut key for saving changes, press it. Or alternatively, navigate to the Save and Exit menu and select Save and Exit. Alright, now your computer will restart with Secure Boot enabled. After rebooting, check once the secure boot status using system information tool. Press Windows key plus R to enable run dialog. Type msinfo32 and press enter. In the system information window, look for the secure boot state under the system summary section. It will display either on or off to indicating the current status of the secure boot. Ok, as you can see, the secure boot status is on. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.